Hello, my name is Colin McNaughton. I'm a technical marketing manager for Ansible Automation Platform here at Red Hat. And today I'd like to show off a little bit more about Ansible Navigator or Automation Content Navigator. Ansible Navigator is the command line interface, text user interface that works through the terminal of uh, you know many major terminal applications or directly within an integrated terminal inside of uh, this VS Code like editor that I have in front of me today. Now, Ansible Navigator is able to not only test and execute automation, but you're also able to inspect the automation that you have run, and you're able to inspect the environment you're running the automation in. Uh, for example, an execution environment. So let's do that first. Let's take a look at Ansible Navigator here. This is the welcome screen, the, the first interface you're, well, you're uh, presented with after running Ansible Navigator, and you can see some of the things that you can run here. So first I'm going to run, issue the images command, so I can list out all the execution environments that I have available to me. Now today, just for this quick demonstration, we're going to be using the ServiceNow execution environment because I'm writing some ServiceNow automation today, and, and that's what I'm primarily using. If I want to inspect this further, I can press the line number for that execution environment. In this case, it's the zero key. And now I'm able to see some general information about this execution environment, but what I really want to know is what, um, what collections are included within this execution environment that I can leverage within my own automation. So I'll press the number two key. Okay, there it is. So I have three different collections here, Ansible POSIX, Ansible Utils, and ServiceNow ITSM with the latest version. I'm going to go back to my welcome screen here. Another subcommand that I like to inspect my local environment is the collection subcommand. So this will pull out the collections from the primary execution environment image that I have on my local uh, workstation here. And so you can see those three um, those three collections again. Now this is where it gets really cool for me. So I have to author some, uh, some automation today to create incidents within my ServiceNow instance. So I'm going to use the ServiceNow collection. I'll press the number two key. Now here are all the different plugins that I can leverage within my, uh, within my automation. And there at number five is the incident module, which allows me to manage ServiceNow incidents. That's what I'm going to be using or leveraging within my automation today. So I'll press the number five key. So here's all the documentation for this specific module. Um, what's really important to me, I'm, very, I'm a very visual learner, so I really like to see the examples. For this, I can use a templating command here. So if you look at the bottom, bottom left, you can see me typing in um, examples here. So I just want to pull out some of the examples that I can use within my own automation. Now I can further from here issue the open sub command and this will open this entire page within my editor that I have configured here, which again is a, is a VS Code like environment. So I'll issue that open command. It's created a new text file on my local file system. I'm going to go ahead and close the, uh, the terminal now. And now all that I need to do is to make this an executable um, Ansible playbook. I'm going to save it somewhere on the file system that I can more easily find. So let's go to the home directory, uh, my student, um, and then just drop it in this navigator demo directory I've created here. And then we'll just call it servicenow.yaml. So once I give it that YAML file extension, I get all the really pretty colors and the syntax highlighting. So from here, all I would have to do is, you know, make this unique. So, you know, I would change this out. I would probably issue a variable for instance. Um, and same with, you know, username and password. I'll, I'll just enclose these in some brackets and spaces here. And so really quickly, I can get started with authoring uh, my playbook here this, that will create an incident once I pass in the variables for instance, user, and password. And this is all done straight from the documentation exposed from Ansible Navigator. Definitely give Ansible and Navigator a try. It's included with automation, Ansible Automation Platform 2. Thank you very much.